What is up? This is your LA in a minute, and I'm here in front of the LA River, which is the raging LA River after a storm. And though a lot of it's run off and fed by upstream, much of it comes from our storm drains because of what we do with the storm water after it rains. So I wanted to know, how does the LA River play a part into the storm water system, and where does the water go? Let's get into it. Hundreds of square miles of concrete and asphalt roads, freeways, parking lots, and storm drains turn the LA basin into a massive funnel whenever it rains. It's like branches of a 2,700 square mile tree that culminate in one of the many storm drains dotted along the coast. Look at all these branches. When we get one of our atmospheric rivers, the rain can pour into the Pacific Ocean at 29 million gallons per minute. In an average rain year, Los Angeles County loses more than 100 billion gallons of rainwater every year or 200,000 Olympic sized swimming pools. Prior to 1915, there was no stormwater drainage system in Los Angeles, and stormwater would routinely take different runoff directions, and there was a high level of unpredictability that caused them to finally map out a system. Problem is, the priority of the stormwater drainage system was to get water out of the city as quickly as possible. L.A. developed rapidly, and as a result, the impervious surfaces such as concrete and asphalt, there was no green area available for natural drainage. There was no concern about capturing stormwater at that time, but it's worth noting that there's enough rainwater to be harvested to produce 30 to 50 percent of the entire city's water needs even today. Now, the problem is with our current system, a lot of that rainwater is runoff, it means it's traveled over many services and the pollutants are nuts, fertilizer, pesticides, fecal matter, heavy metals, even trash. It's terrible condition by the time it makes it to the ocean. So now we have a paradox, moving water out while bringing water in from outside sources while keeping it clean. What do we do? There have been improvements like the Tahunga spreading grounds near the San Gabriel Mountains. They've dug shallow basins to hold runoff released from upstream dams. And now that provides about 12 percent of the L.A. water supply. Los Angeles also passed an ordinance in 2012 to require new developments to collect runoff to reuse or percolate on their grounds. Case study for this was Australia, which went from the second largest per capita water user in the world to one of the most efficient countries on the globe due to their use of cisterns. This is one extreme example, a home made entirely out of water tanks. The improvements are definitely visible, especially in the L.A. River. But the outcome is pretty much the same. What really happens to our storm water, especially right after these storms. So a lot of this storm water is going into the ocean, but the system was designed to prevent flooding. And for the most part, it has worked. And now the city's trying to at least conserve some of this water. But in the meantime, enjoy the raging LA River. And now you know where the storm water goes when it rains. All right, LA, it's been a